photos of the construction from the beginning till the end were taken with this camera. This camera that I hold in my hand. The majority of people, especially builders, believe that structure is unsafe and the day we the removing supports, we could see people waiting for it to collapse. As you can see, it's still standing. The Shrine of Remembrance is an icon of Ulverston, built by only 12 men in 1953. It took five months and 5,831 pounds in those days. In dollar terms, that's $11,600. A very lucky person that I'm still standing here because while we're doing the reinforcing of the columns, timber I was standing on slipped from under me. My foot got caught and I was hanging upside down 20 feet above concrete and I'm still here to tell a story. February 1954 was the official opening and none of us were invited to the official opening. Queen came through on the same day and we did see her from the distance. It is hard to explain or understand why. But I am not royalist because I believe that a human being, you got to earn your position, not be born. Commemorating the clock and the making of the clock was something that was always part of the vision for Hive. As part of the project, the council wanted to honour the builders. At the time, they were not invited to the opening of the clock. And we're lucky to have Yoni Beijiao here to tell the story. I'm 92 years of age and I'm very proud that I finished up in Alves. Four years after the Second World War, I had to leave the country, Iron Curtain, and you had to break the law to go. Travel through Italy in chains, through nine different jars, and eventually I finished up as a refugee. How it all come about, Rudy Zemik, John Posnell, Svet Kamenyac, and I become friends. And Svet Kamenyac was an architect, engineer, designer of this mighty structure. Only one that he knew anything about structures of that kind. They established the firm art design. There was no mechanical gear. We built a scaffolding out of four by twos, 30 meters tall. Just imagine today. John Posner, my schoolmate, he was a barber, and Rudy Zimic was a joiner, but none of us to do any with concrete. The design of this structure behind here, the sea, map of Tasmania, a red block of spilled blood. You got three books, army, Navy and Air Force, and then you got clock, which means life, and on the top you got torch of remembrance, everlasting flame. In 1951, Sveko Medjak felt as a migrant that it would be a gift to the people of Alveston. Incredibly, there were 12 men who dug the foundations by hand and poured 225 cubic metres of concrete to build the three columns. It is 24 metres high, the clock faces themselves are two metres wide to be seen from every part of the town. After the big structure was finished, Svet Kamayach one night disappeared from our lives for unknown reason and then everything died. <laughs> and I went bankrupt and lost all my possessions overnight. So this camera still works. It does a bloody good job. <laughs>